Hey guys, it's Sim. I am here <laughs> with uh, the second part of my ginormous, um, what is it called? Craft haul video. There is a lot of stuff in here. It's not even zoomed in. Like <laughs> it's just because the basket is so deep. It's uh, one of those big tubs from Dollar Tree and I have a whole bunch of stuff inside of here. As you can see, there's a little sneak peek from Happy Kawaii um, Designs. Is that Happy Kawaii Designs? I think so. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and get everything ready and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm going to start this haul with a bunch of goodies. Oh, it's from Happy Kawaii Supplies. Um, I'm going to start with two orders from Happy Kawaii Supplies. <laughs> so let me just get everything out. I lost my cool completely and put in two orders. Um, this was like um, two weeks ago, maybe, or three weeks ago. I'm not sure. But they have just been sitting in this box begging to be hauled. But look. <gasps> There's so many goodies and I'm so excited to share them with you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know if I should just push everything back and then, um, okay. So we have two little baggies of freebies. So this is from Happy Kawaii Supplies. Like I said, they are on Etsy and I have a few favorite shops for sprinkles and they're definitely in that list of my favorite. You got some cabochons here, little kitty cat, a shooting star and rainbow and a little sticker. And then in here we have, oh, how cute. Got some Halloween stuff like that little camera is so cute with the sparkles. And then the candy corn and a dinosaur. So cute. Okay. So having shown you guys that, I will go ahead and get into the orders. Okay. Let's start with this one right here, which was like obsession because I got two um, just in case like she didn't have them again for next year or something. Like I understand this is a problem, you guys. <laughs> like this is definitely an issue, but I'm gonna put that to the side and show you guys like what all is in here. It is called, oh my gosh, I was going to print this. Hold on one second. Okay guys, I just really wanted to tell you guys to be able to tell you the names of these things. And I just pulled up one of my orders and this is called um, Fireburn cauldron bubble let me see yeah cauldron bubble fire burn halloween sprinkle mix and there is bones frogs mushrooms um eyeballs uh fingers <laughs> cut off fingers and all sorts of cool stuff in there i just thought this was the funniest thing ever there's a little bat too that is so amazing. Yeah, like if you look at the picture, that's so cool. Okay, the next thing that I have is the neon orange um, polymer clay jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. They're so cute. And then, let's see. I don't know if... Yeah, I thought they had like, okay, Santa Snacks. Where's that one? Because I really like the name and the, and what all is in there. Look how cute. There's like donuts, um, presents, candy canes, peppermints, just all sorts of goodness. But that one's called Santa Snacks. Um, just going down the list here but okay let me see here is the animal sprinkle ones i'm gonna zoom you in a little bit animal sprinkles i just thought this was so colorful and fun i got those and i think i had explained it 
in a previous haul. These are the smallest ones you get. Like the container is 10 milligram and then I think these are 15 and then you can get one bigger. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm right on that, but yeah, you get the small. So these little baggy or this little container is the smallest and then this is the next up and then this is the next size up from that. So while I'm on that, I will show you why I got this. I think this was on sale um, and it is literally all little round polymers, polymer clay sprinkles of Christmas stuff. And I thought this was the cutest thing because you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Pillsbury Christmas cookies, the sugar cookies that have like the stamp on them. That's what it reminded me of. And yeah, so I got a big bag of that. I have some um, plain pink snowflakes. I have um, some pink plain pink sprinkles, the longer sprinkles, and then you can also get the shorter ones. I don't know why I got this because I should have taken it out of my cart because I got the, the wheels with them. I'll show you in a second. And then there's another Halloween one. I don't know why I thought I needed another Halloween sprinkle mix, but this is it. <laughs> you get some stars in there. And some jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, next we have, this is called, I think, the Rainbow Chips. And they are just rainbow balls. And then I think, uh, I don't know if there are other colors of them. I don't know why I want to open this right now, but I just do. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but, oh. No, I can't close it. Great. Okay. <laughs> so there's that one. Um, and I thought those would be cute for like shakers um, for, I don't know, like snow globes or tags or whatever. It can be anything. And then we have a Christmas mix here. I forget what this one is called but it's more of the traditional colors and then you get some Santas and gingerbreads in there. And then we have only the gingerbread men. So much fun. And I thought I could make my own mix with the gingerbread men, so I was excited to get just a plain one of those. Um, I have some cabochons here that are like the little candies. I wish I could find more in bulk that were more affordable. I think uh, you can find it on AliExpress, I'm pretty sure, but I just got this one. I can use it on like one project, and if I really want more, then I can go and get it. Um, next we have, this is like the brownie um, sprinkles mix or something like that. So you have like the hearts look a lot darker here I think but they're like a yeah they're a dark brown like a brownie color and then you get all of these colorful sprinkles in it yeah I think it was called like the rainbow brownie mix or something it's so cute um that's just the little things in life you guys they do cost money though <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there's this little sprinkle mix, which is more pastels. It's got little crystals in it um, and white stars. Beautiful. With the larger baggies, last but not least, this is like the divination one or something. Is it? Maybe this isn't that one. I'm not sure. But this has, if you can see, crystal like little clear crystal balls in there and black stars, some unicorns and white sprinkles. I don't even know how to show this, but yeah, like if you can see the clear crystal balls in there. I think this was the divination one. If not, then that's more of like a darker one, but I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I love that one. And then let's look at the little ones and then I'll go on to the um, wheels. So we have a lime, not lime, like a minty green bats here. And I got the smaller one because I don't need any more bats. <laughs> Definitely don't need any more bats. Um, let me go over this one. And here we have the, ooh, there's a little strawberry stuck on the bottom of this one. I won't, oh, there we go. <laughs> there's, oh, is that a strawberry or a heart? I can't even tell. A heart, I think. Okay, guys, here is the Frankenstein's monster ones. And I got the small one because, again, I don't need any more Halloween sprinkles. Super cute. And then this is a little Christmas one. It had the little gold balls in it. That's why I loved it so much. You get the Christmas tree, the yellow star, the candy cane, um, and like matching color sprinkles. Yeah, you can see it better from the side. There we go. There's that. And then let's go in here more Christmas goodies and Halloween apparently. Okay, so we have the little peppermints. I just got the regular color. Um, and then I got the pink ones too. They're right here, but I'll show you guys in a second. So there's that. Um, we have, I got the larger snowmen. Did I? Yeah, this is the larger snowmen, but I got the smaller size container and then I got the small Christmas trees there are so many in here like you get so many in just this little container to mix with other like to make my own mixes and I thought it would be really cool to just like put Christmas trees with um pink sprinkles and stuff okay and then there's this mix which you can see like Oh, you can see pretty well actually here. So there's the ghosts, the tombstone, the jack-o'-lantern, the black cat, the bats, and the sprinkles. And then there's some iridescent sprinkles and then the leaf, leaf clays. That's so cool. And then I got so many of them in here. Look at these little penguins. So cute. Little penguins with Santa hats on. So I took these all out. Um, the ones, these ones are the little teddy bears that I got. Look, they are teeny tiny pink like teddy bears. How cute. I don't know if that's resin or what, but like that's how tiny they are. I don't want you looking at my peeling skin, so we'll just put it on the inside of my hand. How cute. Yeah, so that's those little guys. And, okay. So going into these ones. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play with these. Um, so I got the pink hearts to mix with things. I got the pink bats to go with the green bats for the pastelloween stuff. I got, these are pretty neon pink. Like I didn't notice that, but um, I guess it can go with this right here. That'll be fun. So that's that. And then I got these guys. I have something in mind for these. Um, this actually looks like the feeling wheel that we use in um, in our groups and stuff or like in therapy in general. And I want to go ahead and print off like a feeling wheel and make it into a shaker just for myself, like just for fun. So I thought since they look like the feeling wheel, like I could put these inside as sprinkles and maybe these or maybe 
maybe even sequins like with these. So I'm not sure. I'll figure that out. Um, and then I got some of these little tombstones to mix with Halloween things. And then I got the pink peppermints for Christmas. And then this one is so, like, it's so cute. Actually, I wish I got more of this. I don't know if there was none left or look how pretty. It's just like a pastel Halloween type thing. I don't even know. Like, there's the little tombstones, but there's little moons, stars, and other goodness in there. Oh, I love it. So that's that. And then last but not least, we have the candy canes. And this is, I think, this might be the bigger candy canes because they're a little bit thicker. Which is great. And I am so excited to play with all of this. Um, I still have yet to show you guys the projects that I've worked on. Um, but I don't know. I just get kind of... Like, there are so many people who do awesome, like, make awesome things, and I just, I don't know. I, that's going to be a tangent if I go from here. But, yeah, <laughs> so these are um, the stuff that I got. Oh, wait. We're not done. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, you have the option of getting these with, like, the hearts. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a Halloween ring. Don't quote me on that, but um, there might be more of these available. So I just, though, I just got sort of the simple ones. I got the stars in the um, multicolor, more pastel colors. And then I got, well, no, is that pastel? I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then I got the sprinkles. And then you get this mixed sprinkle thing right here, which I love. They're so cute. So you could just use these for mixes without, like you could get um, this wheel as opposed to getting one of each to try. So that was Happy Kawaii Supplies on Etsy. And I love everything I got from there. And then I'm gonna clear these out and bring some stuff in. All right, guys, I am back with some Dollar Tree and some random stuff. So let's start with Dollar Tree, actually. I have some Christmassy goodies. I did not see these ones um, before when I went to Dollar Tree, so this is great. I was able to find some of the things that people have been finding, and I got two of each of the wood wooden um, DIY stickers. This one has the little red glitter stocking, the candy canes, and the mittens. And this one has the snowflakes, the stars, and the Christmas trees. So those are from Dollar Tree. Another thing from Dollar Tree is super random. Uh, it's not a craft thing. It is a Star Wars cup. And I basically got this for my craft room to put um, markers and stuff in because, I mean, come on. Like, look at BB-8 here. They're so cute. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to use that somewhere in here. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, I have some Joanne stuff. And I have some Walmart stuff. Um, but I'm continuing on with um, Dollar Tree. So I got this little gingerbread box container thing. Um, and I was thinking I could put rosettes in here or bows or whatever I make in here. Um, but if they're themed, I could um, use these to store those. And then, oh my... Oh my, okay, this is another, um, this is the little stickers from Dollar Tree that are like the little snowflakes. They're really cool, shiny, and they were the only ones there. Um, next I have, uh, okay, yeah, next I have some Walmart stuff. 
I guess it's going to be mix and match. Yeah, okay, this is all Walmart, not Joann's. But let me show you these. These are the nails that I have on, and they are like the limited edition Kiss nails. These are $18 something on Amazon, like, and at Walmart, they are $5.97, I think. So I got those. I mean, I got two of them because you just, I mean, they're perfect for Halloween. They're like the blood. So I got um, two of those from Walmart. I got, there was only one left of these um, Halloween drink bags. So they're basically like blood bags. And I was thinking, I don't know where they open from, but I was thinking, I saw somebody was it Scrap Diva 29? I think it might have been her. Um, somebody used one of these. Ow! Somebody used one of these as like a goodie bag. And I might do that and then just seal it with washi like she did. So yeah, so I got those from the Halloween section. There was only one left. Um, and then what else? So I found these. They were at an end cap in like the where the holiday cards were. So it's made to be a holiday card display. Um, you have these really cute sparkly snowflake, um, what do you call it, clips. Um, and then you get this twine so that you can display holiday cards, I guess. But I thought um, you could use those for so many different things other than or in addition to displaying cards. Um, I thought you could even use them to hold pictures or add to your projects like They're so cute. I just love the fluffy looking sparkly snowflakes um, That's that and then I just got this for um, tassel making um, Because I am gonna start selling again um, like selling bracelets and charms again and, and necklaces but I really loved the four colors over here and you get like three of each I think or four of each color I'm not sure um yeah 36 of these and the colors are pretty cool they had different colors but I just really wanted this one because of the pinks and that was everything from Walmart. And then I'm going to get into uh, one thing from Staples that's kind of crafty, not really. And then the rest of this stack is going to be from scrapbook.com. But look at this pouch. So this pouch, it's pretty large. It's I would say it's like 10 by 6. I'm lying. I have no idea. But it's pretty big and it has just sprinkles and pom-poms inside of it and glitter. I just thought this was so cute and for something like this on Etsy, you pay a lot of money and this was like $10 or something at Staples. Um, it's definitely, I mean, either that or less because I know you definitely pay more for something like this on Etsy. So... I just thought I would share that with you guys if any of you are five years old at heart like me and would like one of these. So that's that. <laughs> and I don't know yet what exactly I'm going to hold in there. Probably like stickers and sticky notes um, and stuff like that for planner supplies downstairs. But okay, next is a smaller order that I had come in from scrapbook.com. And I just got this Catherine Pooler die uh, that says Merry Christmas. I had a lot of Happy Holidays, which I will use more of um, instead of the Merry Christmas. But I did need one that said Merry Christmas for the cards. So I got this one. Um, these, so the exclusive scrapbook.com stuff and stamping was on sale. So I got these guys and they are really small kind of like the tiny um tim holtz dies so they kind of go with them if that makes sense but yeah this is going to be fun to play around with i love that you can put letters like side by side and write your own sentiments and things like that so i got the uh, vintage type upper and the vintage type lower and they were on a significant 
bit of sale. I think I got it was seven dollars maybe. I'm not sure. Um, and then I got this Bella Boulevard ephemera from like the Monsters collection. And oh my goodness, look how much you get. You get little tabs in here with the with the eyes. Um, you get the little monsters, you get ghosts, you get you get flowers, you get tags, you get sentiments, like yeah, each package includes 112 die cut pieces. So as you can see, like there's a lot in there. So I really love this and I have the little papers that have the one-eyed monsters on it and stuff for the, I mean, I guess there are two-eyed ones too on there. I'm not sure. Um, and then I'd never seen these on there, but these are from Stamp and Storage on scrapbook.com and they are like the tabbed, um, six by seven pockets and you could use these obviously for dies and stamps um I was thinking of using them more for collections probably just having like a bunch of the same type of paper collection and one thing I'm not sure yet what I'm going to I have a few different ideas for that but I was thinking like papers like this that are this small they get lost in my 12 by 12 storage stuff or um like the one uh 11 and a half by or no eight and a half by 11 uh storage stuff so i thought maybe trying these out might work better um you guys this flipping die from hero arts this had been in my cart and then I said, save for later. And then I put it in my wish list. And then I put it in my cart. And then I put it in my wish list. <sighs> and finally, it was like, I don't know what made me cave. I think it might have been on clearance, but not really even cheap. Like either clearance or, or sale. Um, but it wasn't even significantly more affordable. It was just, ugh, hopefully I can get use out of it and I mean I will I just I have to make it a point to like play with it okay and then last but not least in this batch of stuff from um scrapbook.com I got this simple stories um yellow foam uh, alpha stickers and the reason I got these I have been looking for yellow thickers everywhere and I could not find some and this was the closest thing I mean obviously it's what I need because I needed like thick foam alpha stickers that were bright yellow because I wanted it for the sunny days collection and um and I know hey santa also has yellow um yellow aspects in it so I just really wanted one. I was tempted to get two, but I did not because I'm trying to be better about not, you know, going bat s crazy. So those were some stuff from scrapbook.com. Um, I have uh, one little thing from Hobby Lobby that I forgot to show you guys. It was the mini pine cones. And these were 40% off and I just wanted, I have, I have some from two years ago, um, but I had like a handful left. So I just wanted to buy more and I do use these on my, uh, gift packaging for Christmas too. Like I go all out with putting, um, plants and things on my gifts. So that's that. Um, I made a quick trip to Tuesday morning. It was a very sad trip because I couldn't find much. Um, I got these uh, page protectors. And what I like these for is I usually use them with my fuse tool. And I'll cut them up and use them as um, uh, shakers, shaker pockets, or... Um, I, I will use them in my mini binders for sticker storage. Um, I can show you like, an example of my um, like text stickers. And so I keep them like it's the same kind of, what do you call it? Sleeves. And I just keep like my text stickers in there. So I thought if I needed more of those, I could pull some of these in or possibly make another storage you get how many in here 
Am I just not seeing them? Oh, okay. Nope, 40 pieces. There we go. So that's that. And then the reason I was saying it was a pretty sad trip was it was, that was all I got, um, just, and this. So I wish they had more of these because I remember I got the, if you guys remember, I got the single sheets of the 12 by 12 that had these on it so that I could hand cut all of them. And they have these little frame versions of them like that are stickers and the outside is wood. Um, this one's a bit messed up, but it's nothing I can't fix. Um, yeah, I just wish they had more of these. So I just got, I just found and got the one. Um, that's that. And then I have one little thing from Etsy, which is from Baker Homestead. I told you guys I'm all over the place with this. Yeah. I got some pom-pom trim. Um, this is their business card. Look how colorful. And then you get a little scannable thingy there. I don't know what they're called, you guys. <laughs> um, so I got the uh, bright yellow bright orange and the baby pink pom-poms and I believe these are just one yard um gosh I'm gonna have so much fun with these like with the alpha stickers if you were to put it put that on like a sunny days collection I think that would be so cute and then this for like more of the Christmas stuff and this for Halloween yeah so that was from Baker Homestead Um, okay. Next, I have a few things from Amazon. I mean, I just, it's not really anything fun, but I got these in bulk to, um, because I'm going to start making and selling them. Oh boy. Hold on. Um, <laughs> if I could open it, um, there's these nice quality, like uh, lobster clasp, large lobster clasps. I thought you could use them for um, like even planner charms, like to hook onto your strings, or you could do um, a bag charm. And I'll probably sell them as bag charms and then use maybe smaller uh, lobster clasps for the planner ones. But that was basically what I got from Amazon. And then the other thing that I thought you guys might like um, for paper crafting and planner supplies was I had the eight and a half by 11 versions of these, like the letter size to put my paper collections in. But then I was looking everywhere for smaller sizes of them so that I could put in things like ephemera and stuff like that. And you know, uh, Amazon bulk is pretty affordable. The only thing I would say is I wish I um, could find a, um, oh my gosh, a button closure rather than a Velcro closure, but these ones are Velcro. And I mean, if you prefer that, that's even better, but they're five by seven. So you could fit things like, maybe not that, but you know what I mean? <laughs> We don't those either, but things like this and them um, carry them around with you or, you know, or to organize them or whatever you want, really. But they're five by seven. So or you could even store um, greeting cards that you make if you don't want them to get damaged if you're going to store them. So you get quite a few. I forget how much, but yeah, that's that. And then, all right, we have some stuff from, okay, these are all going to be dies for the rest of the video. So let me get rid of these dudes, these dudes and dudettes, and then get on to the dies. I think I'm going to do a separate video for paper. I think that's a good idea. Um, so I got some dies from In Love Art Shop, and then the rest is from KS Craft. And In Love Art Shop has their own website, and they had a huge, like, Halloween sale or something the other 
month, maybe the other week. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so the first die I have here is this, this envelope die. And this I sort of wish was bigger, but I knew how, um, like small it was when I was getting it. Because if you have like a, I don't know, like a five by seven card or something, you could put this inside of it or on the cover uh, with a bunch of embellishments next to it. Like you'll see what I mean if you um, see it on the website. So that's really pretty. And then I got these to use with rosettes, mainly to use with rosettes, like on the back of rosettes, if that makes sense. Um, cause I was thinking like I have another die like that. That's, um, I always go to these ones in videos <laughs> to show, but like something like this, that's a really cool die too, but you could definitely layer like that with this and then maybe like a tinier rosette on top or something. So I wanted that. Um, and then there's another similar one that I thought would be good to layer with rosettes. Um, you get three like straight circular dies, or I'm sorry, four, and then two of these sort of um, zigzag sunshine type of ones. I don't know how to describe it. Um, and then I was super excited for these. Hold on. Um, you get this. I don't know if this is just a flower. It's supposed to be like a poinsettia. But, um, yeah, I forgot what the picture looked like when I got this in the mail. Um, but you get like several different layers and then you can put them together with like a brad and put some beads over it in the middle or, um, yeah, or use some berries to like hook them together, if that makes sense. Okay. These were the ones I was super excited about because there's this creepy one with the zombie hands coming out of the ground. Um, and you get two so that you could sort of layer them. They have a really cute card example on the website. Very excited about this. And then also, um, a Halloween one. This font, I think, is perfect for Halloween. And you just get a bunch of spooky, um, words. So you get insomnia, bloodlust, demons, um... 13, Friday the 13th, Night Scary, Dark, Happy Halloween, Scream, and Death. Lovely. Very morbid. But <laughs> there's that. So that was In Love Art Shop. I love them. They're like quickly becoming one of my favorite places to shop for dyes from. And I don't even know if I should bother putting these in here since I'm going to organize them later tonight. Um... Okay, last but not least, we have some Chaos Craft lovers, and I believe, so Chaos Craft dies, you could get some of them on Amazon, but her new releases um, generally show up on um, AliExpress. Like, I don't know, whenever I check if they have new releases on Amazon, they don't. It's, I don't know. I don't know how that works, but AliExpress is something that I was never, ever into. Like, I'd never shopped from AliExpress before until I saw people on YouTube, like, getting their dyes from there. Because, um, I mean, they're affordable. <laughs> like, except for, I know there's a lot of trouble that you can have with AliExpress in terms of shipping and delivery and stuff like that. Um, Hey-ho, I'll just show you what I got. Um, there's also, like, a... a very little number of shops that I've shopped with uh, AliExpress so far, and I haven't had trouble, so knock on wood. Um, I got the gingerbread um, faces and the gingerbread outfits. Um, you had, like, two options. I think I got both because, like, how cute. So you have your gingerbread and then the overalls, the hat, the dress, um, the chef's hat, just all sorts of goodness. And if you look at their pictures online, they're just adorable. I don't know why I decided to get the second one too. Um, it might have been for these guys right here, honestly. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the picture again. But yeah, so these are sort of 
to go with the gingerbread man. And then next, I'm super excited about this. And I just saw, this was sitting in my basket um, when I watched uh, With Love Bree's new video on like the box that she made out of this. And I am so excited now to work with it because she made like an acetate window where you could see into the box. And this is supposed to be like a memory decks box. So you could put memory decks cards and you do get the memory decks um, die. So yeah, I'm just so excited about it. And it was very, very affordable for the amount of stuff that you get and for how big the box is. Like, I mean, big meaning like that big but sometimes you get like boxes this big for $25 or something <laughs> so you know dyes they're expensive so anywho you get the two layers uh, of this shape right here um and yeah I just I'm excited to play with these for sure so yeah that is KS Crafts or KS Craft Lovers and that was everything uh, in terms of the arts and craftsy stuff. Let me lay some of them out. I'll be right back. Okay, that, my lovelies, is going to be the end of this haul. Um, so this is the second part of the big haul that I had started earlier. Um, and what I'm going to do from here is going to be some uh, paper collections that I picked up. Um, some paper and chipboard stickers and things like that, mainly from scrapbook.com and some from perhaps Hobby Lobby and Joann's. I'm not sure, but stay tuned for that. And oh gosh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are peaceful, safe, and well. Um, yeah, I will catch you guys in a little bit. Bye.